morning guys deeper state keto week 1 million and 72 uh, I am on my way to the gym got my zip fizz feeling good uh, I calculated my macros this morning today was the first time that I looked at what I had planned to eat and I was like ooh that's it like ooh that's that doesn't seem very filling so getting kind of nervous I am near phase three time so I can definitely see a shift in my macros you know what I need to drink more water I was just thinking how am I gonna stay full I need to drink more water because I am failing right now and of course we know water helps you feel full I am having cheeseburgers and hot dogs for meal prep this week so I will have to fry up some burgers no tuna this week I am distraught I simply do not have the protein for tuna tuna is high protein low fat and all my protein's gone between the burger and the hot dogs it's no good so I'm excited to get to the gym do some walking I think I'm gonna work on incline treadmill today because I really I found that I really don't like the speed so I don't like going at a higher speed but in order to increase the intensity I can do the incline so I'm gonna be doing that heading to Meyer, doing meal prep heading to the office my life sucks I'll catch you later Okay guys, just got done at the gym. That incline, wowie. So I walked on the treadmill, started, I kept a pace of three the whole time, but every two minutes, I upped the incline by one grade until I got to a 10. Ouch. I mean, I was sweating, I worked up a good sweat, my heart rate was up, I was uncomfortable, and I, I think that discomfort is, is an important element to let you know that you're working out hard enough you know you shouldn't be dying and you shouldn't dread it but you should feel moderately uncomfortable and feel some sense of relief when you stop if you work out for 30 minutes and you feel exactly how you did before you started what was the point you could have just been doing something else to feel the exact same that's how I feel so and I was watching a video recently and I know this is true people just don't work as hard as they think they do you're not working as hard as you think you are Work harder, make yourself uncomfortable. Off to the store. Okay guys, I am done with meal prep. All I had to do was cook up some meats. So we got bacon right here. It's taking everything I have not to eat this right now, but this bacon is actually meal prep bacon. I'm having bacon cheeseburgers. Here are the burgers. They are delicious. 
Uh, they're a little Cajun, which is exactly what I like. Like I like burnt hot dogs, burnt burgers, basically burnt meats. And that's why I don't eat steak because I know that I would be doing it at the service by cooking it all the way through. So out of respect for the meat, I just don't eat it. So I'm actually hungry right now and I'm gonna go to the office because I left my food there. This is a pattern of leaving things at the office, whether intentionally or unintentionally, still gotta go. So I am going to go there and actually eat my last serving of egg roll in a bowl and then I'm gonna bring home my hot dogs and tuna. I gotta finish up that tuna fish because I don't get any this week and I'm super sad about it. I might be going some other places too, so let's just see what the day brings. Okay guys, so I fell down a YouTube wormhole of 10,000 calorie challenge videos. Are you guys aware of those? Like, do you know what they are? Basically the premise is that you just try to eat 10,000 calories in a day, which just sounds like a dream to me, but apparently it's really difficult and I really wanna do one. I'm pretty sure after I've been in my goal weight for a while, I'm gonna do a 10,000 calorie challenge just to see if I could do it. Like, I mean, since I've lost weight and my stomach has gotten smaller or my appetite's gotten smaller, I wanna see if I could do it. Plus, I just want an excuse to like, eat tons of delicious food for sport. What? So, needless to say, I'm just now leaving my house. I have to go to the office. I have not eaten anything. So, I've been like fasted for a long time now. So, that's kind of a win, but I am, Head it out, that's about it. Okay guys, impromptu trip to Sam's and look what we found. Oh my God, oh my God. Now, the grape wasn't as bad as I thought, but I am happy to be back to my fruit punch. So I'm gonna get two just to stock up so that this don't happen again. I'm pleased. Hey guys, I am finally at the office, so that means I finally get to eat. This is the remaining egg roll in a bowl. And then I just have a little bit of tuna to finish off. And I pretty much one meal a day it today. So that's pretty sweet. Gonna finish off my Powerade and do my other favorite thing in the world besides eat. And that's watch YouTube videos. Okay guys, I am back home for the night. I'm about to have me some Jello and watch YouTube videos. For meal prep this week, I'm gonna have burger. So a burger, mayonnaise, mustard. I may or may not throw some barbecue sauce on there. I don't know. Uh, American cheese, two slices of bacon, and that jalapeno that I chopped up. I'm very excited about that. Then I'm gonna have a Bulletproof coffee, and then for dinner, I'm just gonna have hot dogs. That's it. And uh, of course, more Jello, more Zevia. We're getting to some trying times. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. You can also ding the notification bell to get notified whenever I put up new meal preps or recipes or weigh-ins. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll catch you next week.